So just so you guys can get a good look at the bolt, this is it. It is so pretty. I am so in love with this packaging. As you open this, like, and close it, the glitter inside moves all around and it is so, so pretty. I love this packaging. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is the Pretty Things and Fairy Wings brush set. And here I have five brushes that come in the vault. So these are five kind of core brushes to do your look. You have everything you need here, which is really nice. So we have a highlighting brush. And I first off want to say I am in love with the color of these brushes. There's like a dark pink, a light pink, and a purple, and they're just so, so pretty. Like I was saying, you have a highlight brush, you have a cheek brush, an eyeshadow brush, you also have a contouring brush, and then you have a powder brush. So as you can see, you have pretty much all of your main brushes that you'll need to do your look. And these brushes are inspired by Fairy Wand. So if you take a look at the handle, there are stars on them and they are just so pretty. I am in love with these brushes. I think they are gorgeous. Next we have the Fairy Lights Mascara and this is Tarte's most popular mascara. You guys have probably tried it. It's actually the 4-in-1 Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And usually with all of their collections, they will come out with this super cute packaging. And for this one, we have like a pink glitter. And on the tip of it, there's like a star, which I love. It's just kind of like a charm there. And they've never done that before. So I really, really love that. So next we have the limited edition Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in Fairy Flush. And this is a beautiful rose color. If you look at it, it's really neutral. It gives a nice rosy flush to the cheeks. And I am so in love with this packaging once again. You have these stars on the front and I think it is so, so pretty. I also wanted to mention that there is a mirror inside. So that's a plus. So I was really excited. This is in here. This is the Fairy Dust. And this is an iridescent glitter that you could put on your neck, your face, or your hair. You could basically put it all over your body if you want. And we are also going to definitely be using this today. I'm super excited about this. I love glitter. And this is a really pretty, almost like iridescent, pink color and there is a picture on the back of the girl here wearing it in her hair and you can also wear it on your cheeks we're gonna be putting it on the neck lastly we have the limited edition eye and cheek palette and this is called love trust and fairy dust you get 10 eyeshadows and one highlight and they're in really rosy kind of plummy colors I also wanted to mention that these pans inside are removable. So if you wanted to put them in a magnetic palette, you can. And there actually was a magnetic palette released with this collection. I didn't purchase it, but it's like in the shape of a flower and it's pink. So you can actually pop these in there if you wanted to mix them with your other Tarte eyeshadows that are magnetic. Also wanted to mention that inside there is a mirror. So you're getting a mirror with this eyeshadow palette and it has imprinted on the mirror, Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust, which is so, so cute. It also said on the website that the these eyeshadows were made with Amazonian clay and mineral pigments, so I am super excited to try them on the eyes. The way they swatched was nice and just smooth and buttery, really beautiful colors, like I said, plummy, rosy, really romantic shades, very like reminiscent of like a fairy. I just love it. It's really fresh and beautiful. With swatches, you can't really get the full effect of the shadow until you put it on the eyes. So as you guys can see with my swatches, I'm just applying them and really blending them in with my finger rubbing back and forth, just like I would with an eyeshadow on my eye. And that gives you a little bit of a better idea of what the shadow will look like when you blend it. All right, so I've already primed my eyes, so we're just gonna jump right into the eye look. And the first shade I'm gonna pick up is the shade here called Frolic. And this is a matte in the palette. So we're gonna run this right through the crease. This is a really pretty brown. It's almost like a rosy brown. I feel like it's super cohesive with all the colors in here because they're all like kind of pinkish tones. So I'm just winging this out and I can't help it, but Tarte's eyeshadows, they smell so good. I don't know what it is about them. There is a scent. I don't know what the scent is, but it is so amazing. I love the smell of their shadows. So, so far, this shade Frolic is blending really easily into the eye. It's really soft and really just soft on the eye overall. It's blending so easily and it's nice and buildable. So as I'm blending, I'm actually just adding a little bit more right into the outer kind of wing area of the eye. I'm gonna take some more of that shade Frolic and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this under the lower lash line. I'm just kind of blending it right into the shadow that's on the crease. So I'm just like connecting everything. 
To deepen up the eye look, we're going to grab this shade here called Wish. And Wish almost looks like a really kind of dark brown with like a hint of purple in it. It's really pretty. I'm just going to keep that right on the outer corner of the eye and once again, just kind of following out that wing. You can see that blend with the brown into like that reddish color. It's just blending super easily. So next we're going to grab this shade up here called Mystical and I'm using it on the eyeshadow brush. This is like a really metallic color. It's really pigmented and I picked up quite a bit with just that little swipe there. So to make it super metallic, I'm gonna wet it with the Mer Mist. This is also from Tarte, it's a shimmer spray. This will make it even more shimmery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that color. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm just packing this color onto the lid, like right in the center and just tapping it over the brown. This is really pretty. I love this color. This might be my favorite color so far in the palette. This is definitely like almost like a duochrome color when you place it over the brown. It almost adds like a hint of bronze to it. I love this color. It's really unique. It's kind of like a reddish berry, but it has hints of bronze as you kind of like move your eye around as you blend it into other colors. I had to go into Flitter, of course. And I'm just gonna take Flitter right on the kind of inner part of the eye. It's almost like a peachy, like pink color. I'm just kind of placing this on the lid and I'm blending it right into that mystical color and just patting. So now I'm gonna grab the center highlight and I'm just gonna place it right on the inner corner. And this was looking so beautiful when I swatched it. I cannot wait to put this on my face. Look at that brow highlight. Oh my dear God. This highlight in the middle is amazing. I'm loving it. This is like MAC nylon status. I'm also gonna take a little bit more of that highlight and just add it right into the center of the eye. And then lastly, I'm gonna pick up some more of Mystical and I'm just gonna work that on the lower lash line. And I am taking a little bit of the shade Wonder, this one right here, and I'm just applying this right onto that lower lash line and connecting it up into the shadow. So now I'm gonna pop on the Fake Awake Liner in my waterline. This is also from Tarte. This is one of my favorite products because it really does make your eyes look so much more awake and bright. So now we're gonna pop on the Fairy Lights Mascara. I think this is so cute. I, I really love this patch and this might be my favorite so far just because it's pink and it's glittery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes first and I'm just using my Mermaid Lash Curler. This is from their last collection. The Mermaid Collection was bomb. So time for mascara. So if you've ever tried Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, this is a super kind of like wet formula. It's almost like gel-like. It's really, really black, and I just really like it because it's not super clumpy. It really kind of lengthens the lashes. It doesn't volumize too, too much, but it most definitely lengthens really well. I mean, I have really short eyelashes. I have non-existent eyelashes, so this works super good. So now I'm gonna pop on the Mermaid Lashes. This is from their last collection. They have like kind of black lashes, but on the tops of them, they have all these pretty like teal, pink, and blue colors. So I'm gonna pop these on and it's a wrap on the eye look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the contour brush to bronze up my face. I'm just gonna dip into some bronzer. This is a really big brush. I like that. I like doing soft bronzer looks. I don't like doing anything too crazy. The bigger the brush, the more kind of like natural the bronzer will go on. Hmm, I really like that. There's no lines or anything. I just like the shape of it. It's pretty unique. I haven't seen like a big, contouring brush like this. All right, let's go in with the Fairy Flush. I'm gonna be using it on this brush. This is like nice and round. I feel like this would be perfect for the cheeks. So I'm just gonna dip into it. That's pretty, it's really soft and subtle. So the blush is really, really light. It is super, super light. So I can totally see a hint of like rose on the cheek, but this is a really kind of buildable type of blush. It's not super, super pigmented, but I think that's what makes it so pretty and very wearable is that it is so light that you could literally layer this on and it's not gonna be too much like ever. It is really, really light. I would say if you're a little deeper than my skin tone, this may not show up too well on you. It shows up kind of really subtly on me and I'm like a light to medium. So this isn't gonna be super, super rosy or anything. It's very, very light. So this highlight is in the eye and cheek palette and it looks like a really nice, kind of like a 
champagne-y color. It is very, very bright and beaming. Like on the eyes, it looks amazing. So I'm excited to try it on the cheeks. I'm gonna switch brushes to this one because this one here is like a really soft, I would even say this is like a contouring brush. It's so, so soft. I would go in with this for like contour in the hollows of the cheeks and I would actually use this one to highlight because it's more flat and dense. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Okay, this is really, 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 really beaming. Wow, it's really, really bright. I'm gonna calm this down a little bit. Dang, that is really pretty. That's almost like wet looking. Holy. Tarte is killing it with this highlight. It is so pretty. It is almost like a silvery champagne though, like a mixture of like a gold and a silver. So I'm getting kind of icy vibes from it. Oh, they need to make this in a big one because this is, this is too much for me. So next we're gonna be using the Fairy Dust and I absolutely love the Tarte glitters they've been coming out with. I love the mermaid gel. I really, really like the sequins. They were like um, a mermaid kind of sequins for the body. They were also iridescent glitter. And I am loving this color. This is really pretty. I have a lot of glitters, but I don't have like a peachy rosy one like this. So I'm excited to try this out. You can put this in your hair and you can put it on your body and on your face. So it's safe to put everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this everywhere because who would I be? Who would I be if I didn't put this all over my face and body? So we're gonna be bathing in glitter and I'm gonna be using pop ointment, which is my favorite kind of adhesive for glitter. I know that on their website, they say you can use a liquid highlighter to stick this on, but that's not gonna keep this on. Pop ointment is the best to keep sequins and glitter on. What I'm first gonna do is I'm actually going to apply this to the areas that I wanna add the glitter. So I'm gonna rub it in on my chest. Ooh, this stuff smells so freaking good. I'm also gonna add some just around my temple area in these highlight areas. This is called living your best life. So Tarte did come out with new lip products for this collection, but I did not end up purchasing them. I really, really wish I did though, because they look so, so pretty. But I'm gonna be using the Mermaid Collection lipsticks, which I really loved. And I'm gonna pop on the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Exposed. This is a really pretty nude and it does have kind of like a rosy color. So I thought it would look so good with this look. And then over the top, I'm gonna go over with the lip paint in Mermaid. This is like a holographic lip 